Hello and welcome to another 7 Minutes in Control with Rob Allen. This is episode number 10. I know that I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing in episode 9, but I promise you these were filmed on different days, possibly, maybe not. Um, I'm joined today by Mitch Kaler with KMC, and uh, you're the director of sales for KMC, and uh, you wowed us in the, uh, in the training room a little while ago with a lot of neat stuff, and um, we promised in uh, episode 9 that we are going to um, go a little bit more in-depth into the Conquest and the Connect Light with the NFC and all that kind of good stuff, and so I understand that you're going to do that for us. That's, uh, that's my intent. Awesome. Very cool. Um, well the, uh, tell us a little bit about it, and then uh, you're going to do a demo as well? Yeah, I can, uh, I can take care of that for you. Okay, awesome. So, uh, as you talked about with Eric, uh, we're leveraging NFC technology and all this new Conquest hardware. And uh, what that basically equates to is that uh, we have NFC technology in the controllers, which allows us to configure the devices without any power. Actually, when it's still in the box, you can configure it all either with the phone or if your phone doesn't support NFC we can do it with a Bluetooth dongle either to a, a laptop or a cell phone that doesn't support NFC. Awesome, very cool. That's neat stuff. Um, I'm just looking, you know, and, and I'm not the most technical guy. I'm really known for my good looks way more than my technical acumen. That's both. <laughs> so the, um, I, you said something that was kind of neat earlier about these little bulbs and uh, they're on or not and then you these could uh, blow up, I guess, before the controller. Will, will well, yeah, we we, uh, we reference this as a network fuse, but uh, these are network. We call them network bulbs. They actually uh, they're more of a uh, leading indicator that something's wrong if the bulbs are on. So uh, if somebody hooks up voltage to your your 485 com network, or if the phase is off on your transformer, then the bulbs glow, and that leads you to indicate there's a problem in the controller. A lot of times these will these will blow before you damage the controller if there is voltage put on the network. So, kind of a safety precaution, yeah. help protect the hardware. It's really neat. Always always got our back, right? Try it. Yeah, cool stuff. All right, well uh, let's see how this stuff works. So the way the NFC technology works is we have that chip in the controller. Uh, if you have a phone like the Samsung device that supports near field communication, I have the uh, the KMC Connect Light app on my phone. I simply place it on the controller. If it's still in the box, we have an NFC logo on the box indicating where to place the device to uh, leverage that technology. It realizes that the chip is there because it's using the RF coming out of the phone to power that chip. So I select the app to launch it. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. It has, it has four pages in here. So there's a home button, a read, a write, and a history. We start by going to read and uh, simply select read from device. What it's doing is it's going into that chip and uh, pulling out of all the parameters out of the controller, such as device instance, all the uh, communication parameters, the application parameters. Uh, I can see all that here. This uh, VAV, for instance, is named room 212. Um, location, room 212. Uh, I have a, it's a IP, uh, BACnet IP device. So I have my communication parameters down here, such as the IP address. Um, say I wanted to change that IP address, all I have to do is simply hit modify and write. It's, uh, it's going to open up this next window which allows me to select what I want to edit. Um, these are all selectable so that if you're simply changing the device name, it's not rewriting all that information on the device, it's simply rewriting what you want to write. So I wanted to change the IP address so I go to communication and uh, simply select the IP address I can change it. As soon as I'm done editing it, that's really cool. So see all you uh, you guys at home that said I wasn't smart enough to program well. Hey, that's about to change because this is pretty uh, pretty darn easy stuff. Yeah. So I have the IP address that I want in there. I uh, if that's all I'm going to change, I see that's selected. Nothing else is selected. Simply select right to device. It's going to push all those changes down that I made, whether that was uh, the device name or a connection parameter or a password and it's in the device now. That's really cool. So the same thing, um, you know, any kind of thing that you change, you can just write to the device. If you had a new controller or something like that, it's the same stuff. You're just popping your phone up there, your NFC device, and then is that how it works? Yeah, well, and there's some other nice features in there too. Say I had 10 VAVs in a row and I just uh, set the device instance and MAC address of uh, VAV1. Simply hit the increment button, go to the next device, hit write to device, and it increments everything so that you're getting your controllers online as quick as possible. Wow. That was really some neat stuff. You guys really outdid yourself on this one. Yeah. So the, uh, that sounds good. I mean, that's 
that seems to me like we're we're done. I mean, that's pretty simple, right? Is there anything else that we're that, is that it? Yeah, really. The the last page is uh, it's it's a history of what that technician did or whoever has the app on their phone. Um, they can export this. It tells you who did what, where, to what controllers. So you have a, a history of everything that's been changed. Um, the really neat technology that this leverages is if it's on a Windows application, you can uh, basically have a spreadsheet with all your VABs and flow settings and uh, communication parameters. Just select that line, deploy it to this controller, move your dongle to the next box, and get everything set up and commissioned ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is really neat stuff, man. I, I, I know you're impre or proud of uh, what you guys have done, and I'm impressed. Yeah, we're, we're happy to get out to the market and uh, start saving people time. So neat stuff. So I, I look forward to uh, getting this out to all you contractors and uh, letting you guys see this stuff firsthand. Um, I think we're going to line up some training and all kinds of good stuff. So um, should be really neat. Looking forward to it. Well, Mitch, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate, yeah, appreciate it. appreciate the time. Thanks a whole lot. And, uh, you know, you're worried about not being good at this, man. Look, you're a natural. I try. <laughs> Very cool. All right, another 7 Minutes in Control with Rob Allen with KMC's Mitch Kaler. Thanks.